Değerli izleyiciler, Big Legend programının bu ayki bölümünde Antalya'dayız, kamptayız ve her zaman olduğu gibi tabii ki Didier Drogba ile birlikteyiz. Forsi, welcome again Didi. Thank you. And, uh, I will start uh, Forsi with uh, the most important victory, with the most important result of the last month and also maybe we can say that of the last year uh, with the uh, UN2's game. Uh, what do you say about that? Uh, it was really uh, unbelievable. Yeah, I think the club... The club has a history of, uh, of big games like this and big big victories like this, and uh, there was a lot of of drama around the game. You know, the snow and the game cancelled and everything, and uh, and our position in the in the in the group stages. And uh, yes, you know, we played the game the next day. The fans were were there again. The stadium was full, so. Everything was was there to make a a good a good game and to 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 make this game became history, you know. And 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 we did it on the pitch, and uh, we are very proud of of our fans and and what uh, what we achieved that day. Did you thought that in the second day, especially in these difficult situations uh, with that snow, uh, over forty thousand uh, people will come? Did you thought that? We wished, we wished, but uh, in the morning before the before the, the second game, we um, were thinking the game is at three o'clock. Uh, maybe the stadium will not be full, but uh, everybody came. Everybody came, and uh, this is really fantastic. You know, it shows how how passionate the the, the, the fans the fans are, and, and uh, it's it's great for the club. Also, you made a very uh, fantastic assist with a good head ball uh, to Wesley. And Wesley scored also really very nice. So, what do you say about Wesley Snyder? His yeah, goal he and was, also his performance. He was calling me all the time. The ball was in the air during this action. He was calling me, calling me, and 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 I and only uh, my only chance was to give him the ball, otherwise he would kill me. So now, he, after that, he, he made a great goal, a uh, great action, great goal, and. You know, you need players like like him in, in in this league. You know, to to bring some some more quality, some something more extra to the to to football. And uh, you know, I, I was very happy for him. You know, he's my friend, but uh, he's he's most of all a very good very good player. So I'm happy that he scored, and and it took us to the to the next uh, uh, stages. Uh, he is getting better and better day by day. Uh, his performance. Uh, what do you say about him? About generally? Uh, it's you know you need time. You need time to to get used to you to your team, to to the change, and and uh, this season is is really better than the the season before. So uh, once again, age is nothing. You know, it's more it's more about performances and 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 he's doing the the, the right job. Now a new story is beginning, and the main character in this story is uh, Didier Drogba. Uh, we face with Chelsea, and uh, after the draw, everyone spoke, uh, every website, uh, every authority uh, spoke about that. Uh, what do you say about this story? Uh, you know, um, it's eight years of my of my life, of my football career, and. Uh, uh, is the is the the first time that I s I spent so many years in in one place and in, in the same team. So yes, it's going to be special. Yes, and and I hope it will be special. Uh, and uh, I hope I will enjoy it. But I also hope that we will go through and and qualify for for the next round because uh, it is important for the club. To, to to go through and to progress in the Champions League. Uh, last year we we stopped in a, in a quarter final. I think this year we have to try to improve. So if Chelsea is 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 on our way, we're gonna have to do our best. We're gonna have to be at our best, more than our best, to be, to, to 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 hope that we could beat them. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be very very difficult because I know this team. I know the manager, I know the players. It's going to be very, very difficult. But, you know, it's football and you never know. 
So we need your advice, also your teammates need your advice about that. Uh, you are the most experienced player about uh, against Chelsea. Uh, no, I think I think. Um, what do we need uh, to do in London? Uh, first, we need to do something in Istanbul. First, <laughs> if you want to believe in in. Uh, yes, also in Istanbul. Yes. In, uh, in a qualification, we have to to do something in Istanbul. Uh, a good result, zero zero one one, uh, or two zero or one zero. We need to do something in Istanbul first, and uh, and then we will see in, in Stamford Bridge. But most important is Istanbul. Did you speak with Jose Mourinho after this? Yeah, I spoke to to all my friends there, and and uh, they were all happy to to play against against us. I was happy too. Uh, it was a, a strange strange emotion, strange feeling uh, to think that I'm going to go back and play against against my ex teammates and against my, 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 my friends, because they are my friends, and, and maybe more. So it's going to be strange, but you know, once you get on the pitch, you, you, you are into the game, so... Uh, also, we know that uh, you are the idol of Lukaku, and Lukaku is now in other team, maybe for just one year, but uh, Chelsea has a problem, especially with the strikers, maybe They don't score so much goal. I think uh, just five or six. They goals don't have this problems season. with strikers. They, they are, why, um, why do you think it's like that? Because of system? No, they don't have problems. Uh, the strikers are scoring. Maybe not as much as everybody expect them to score, but they are scoring in important games. And Galatasaray will be an important game, so we have to be careful. It's you know the when you see the team, you can think, oh, it's possible to beat them. You know, this guy is not scoring, or this, this guy is not defending well, or this guy is not running the same. But when you play against them, because I know them, I was there, so I know it's very difficult. So, and... and you don't agree with this o uh, opinion? No, I, I don't. I don't. I know, I know uh, the mentality there is different. Mm -hmm. uh, important games are for important players and they are important players so they will be there they will score goals and and win games in important games but uh, uh, we are we're gonna go play the first game and and everything will depend on this game uh, as we said uh, the legend of the blues uh, will be back in Stamford Bridge can you say something about the atmosphere of the Stamford Bridge how is it It's my house. It was my house for like years and years, and 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 I can I could score there even my eyes closed, you know, uh, because every weekend I was there. Uh, at least once a week or twice a week, I was there. So I knew the stadium. I knew uh, I knew where the lines were. I know where the the uh, this fans this fan was sitting. Because I was seeing him every day, every weekend, you know. So uh, it's a good atmosphere. It's a good atmosphere. Uh, uh, and uh, on on a big nights, big Champions League nights, it's a fantastic stadium to 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 enjoy. Can you guess how a uh, surprise, how a uh, nice welcome is waiting for you there? I don't know the. The only thing I can I can be proud of is that uh, I left this club on a high, and uh, I think people people uh, really really loved what I did there, and, and and I really enjoyed my time there. I really loved uh, this club, and and uh, and I still do. I still do because. It's my team. Nobody can. I, I, I always say nobody can take this club out of my heart, and it's true. And and and. Uh, but but I am I am a Galatasaray player, and I will give everything for this team, for this club. It's like this, and and uh, that's life. But actually, my head is is focused on Galatasaray and 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 do something great for the club. You know, try to put this. Fourth star because with the win we did in in the league against Trabzon 
uh, and uh, we we came back and uh, we have we believe that we can we can win the league and uh, we are Galatasaray so we shouldn't be scared of of Chelsea we have to respect them because it's a big team uh, with, with a big history in in Europe but we have to go and and try our, our luck, our chance. In the Turkish league, uh, there is the difference uh, eight points with the leader, Fenerbahce. But uh, in the second uh, half of the league, we will play all the big games in our home. And Fenerbahce will uh, play in away games. Do you think that it's an advantage? Could be an advantage. But Besiktas was playing against us in their stadium. And they lost. So it means nothing. Uh, uh, Fenerbahce played against Besiktas in the stadium and they drew. It means nothing. Now there's no home or away games. There's, there's big games you have to win to become first. And uh, of course it's an advantage because we have the fans and everything. But on the pitch it's 11 against 11. So it's up to us. I think if we want, if we want to play as a team uh, and, and and fight for each other and make all the efforts like we did against Juventus. I don't think there's a lot of teams who can, who can, who can deal with us. But this is what we need every day, every weekend. Even when you're not playing Juventus, when you're playing Kai City, when, when you're playing uh, Akisa, or when you play Fenerbahce or, or any team, we need this attitude for until the end of the season because this is the only way to win. To win trophies. What means to be a family or for you? This uh, question is generally how you understand. Family, it's, it's large, you know, it's, uh, how can I explain that? I don't know. My, my vision of a family is, is uh, togetherness, happiness, trust and fight for each other and, and, and uh, Yes, family, as the word family, for me the, 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 the best way to explain is, it's only my words, but I can die for you, that's family for me. And uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, last day, won the Ballon d'Or, uh, in your opinion, was he the favourite uh, or uh, what do you say about that? I'm very happy for him because uh, you could see on the images he, he worked really hard to, to, to get this, this Ballon d'Or and uh, uh, it could have been uh, Frank Ribéry for the season he did uh, and, uh, but I think Cristiano, Cristiano in, in this last uh, few years was more consistent. Ribéry was good last season and the, the year before, but really I think Cristiano was uh, a bit above, above, uh, above him. Uh, last uh, month you were selected as a man of the year by uh, GQ Turkey, uh, GQ magazine. Uh, what do you say about that? And uh, I also will ask that, uh, does good players need special advisors about many things, not just about the football, because you are not just a football player. You mean many things for everyone. Yeah, I was very proud to be, to be voted uh, JQ Turkey Man of the Year. Uh, the year before I was uh, JQ England uh, Man of the Year. So really, it's, it's an achievement, you know, to know that Everywhere you go, people love you or, or respect you or respect the job you do. And uh, I, was, I was really proud to, to get this award. And uh, to, to be a football player, I mean, now football players for me are not only uh, players uh, because they have to deal with everything. Uh, they are like... Uh, boss of, of, of companies because they have to deal with their image, they have to deal with their, their game, the way they play, they have to, to deal with the, the sponsorship deal and everything. So uh, when you are a boss of a company, you have people to help you. You have CEOs and everything. So I think the same way to help you uh, to focus on football, 
You need people around you, concentrating on the media aspect, concentrating on, on, on your sponsorship deals and everything. So I think that's what I, I try to do. And, and uh, so you are uh, working with a professional company. Yeah, I'm working with it's a important, professional. Think, yeah, for it's a important. Place. It's important because because uh, we're not talking about uh, about uh, just football. You know, when you reach that level, it you are lucky because it opens a lot of doors for you to to explore. So I I would not say that I know everything about uh, about this job or this job or this job. I know about football. But other, other things, I don't know. So I need people to advise me, good people to advise me about things I don't know. In the last summer when we were in uh, London, I saw uh, the book which you read. Uh, the name of the book was uh, Talent is Never Enough. Uh, is that your uh, life philosophy or what? why did you choose that book? I chose that book. Uh, first, uh, somebody offered this book to me. I was at the airport and, and uh, one guy came to me, I met this guy in the plane and, and he gave me this book. And, uh, but it's like, it was strange because it's like the, the, the philosophy of, one of the philosophy of my life. Uh, because as I always said, I was not a better football player than a lot of my friends I, I, I grew up with. Uh, most of them, they were more talented than me. They are really, they were really, really more talented than me. Uh, but I was the more, the most luckiest man to 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 arrive at this level. What was the difference with them? Uh, I kept on working, 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 and some of them, they, they because they were talented, they knew they don't need to work. So when you stop working in life, you stop progressing. Of course, you're still going to be talented, but the other guy who is less talented than you is working, 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 working. He's going to work and, and, and run past you. And um, I knew I was not as talented as them, so I was working. So that's why this book is also uh, 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 a, a little picture of, of my my philosophy. That shows your life philosophy also. Is it not just that? Not uh, only my life philosophy, it's just one part of my, of my experiences and, and, and that's why when I read this book, I'm really, it's like it's, it's talking to me. You know, this book is talking to me and, and, uh, and, and really I, you should, you should read it. Uh, what's the best goal in your career? The best goal in my career will be will always be the, the, the last goal I score. It will always be the last goal I score because it's very difficult to score a goal. Uh, Don't you want special? I have, I have some, some special ones, but one, no. I've, I scored a lot of goals. I am not, I'm not like, but I scored a few goals and, and, and uh, a lot of them are, are really nice goals. But... Uh, for me, the, the, the most important one is the last one I scored. Last one, every yes. time. For every time. Uh, when you look to the past, uh, is there anything which you thought uh, it would be better when I did uh, something like that or like that? Do you have some regrets about the past? No, no, I don't have regrets because, because uh, even all the mistakes I made, because I made some mistakes, and maybe I will still do, I will still make, sorry, uh, but I learned from them, you know, I learned from them and they, and they helped me to become a man. They helped me to grow and to, to, to get more, to be more experienced and to, uh, to be more wise, you know, so no, I, I have no regrets. I will never change my life for anything. You look to everything uh, as an experience, new experience. Everything. I will never change my life for anything. Never. At last about your music style, uh, which music is your favorite music? Oh, you're going to, uh, to speak about something very, very special to me because I love music in general. 
of course, Ivory Coast music, African music, but hip hop, rap, uh, even classic music. I'm very eclectic. I love music in general. What really sounds good in my ear is music is a feeling. Music is not a song. Uh, music is a feeling, and 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 uh, if something catches you here, you will like it. Whatever it's classic music or, or hip hop or or dance music or electronic music, and yeah, I think music is universal. So, especially in the last days, is there some uh, new songs or singers? Which I always bring new songs. Always, always, always to the to the players. Always. <laughs> Okay, many thanks. Thank many thanks. you. Thank Değerli you. izleyiciler, Big Legend'da Antalya bölümünde böylelikle sonuna gelmiş olduk. DJ Drogba yine çok özel açıklamalarda bulundu. Önümüzdeki ay yeniden sizlerle birlikte olacağız. Şimdilik hoşçakalın. Bir kafa ve